and Hayley is here. Hello, Hayley. Hello. How are you doing? This is nice because I said to you, we haven't worked together for ages and now it's like twice in know, a like couple of days. Is. But not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. We get to work together. We do, yes. Now, for the one day special, mm -hmm. we have got some fantastic fabrics we and we've have. also got a wonderful book for you by Kaif. Kaif, that's right, Kaif Fassett, um, an amazing man. He really does have an eye for colour. And you only have to mention those two words, his yeah. name. And I know that we'll be busy at the moment that we mention this. It's a brilliant collection as well, because what we've got is we've got a yeah. scrap box. Now, have we got bring the box? the box out. It's just a there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So when, you, when I heard it's going to be a scrap box, I thought, oh, well, my scraps are like, I don't throw anything away. No. So I'm thinking, oh, one inch, two inches, maybe little pieces like that. You're actually getting strips. Right. And the strips come to you now. Each pack could vary, mm -hmm. but each strip strip is well in my pack anyway three inches wide and it's yeah. the full width of your fabric so it's about 115 centimeters now what I did with yeah. the pack that I got or one of the packs that I got I stitched those pieces side by Lovely. side so here you can see here we're going salvage to salvage so it actually the length downwards at the moment is 115 centimetres give or take because obviously a little bit of variance and also my sewing as well because I did this while you were on air I earlier. know you're talking nuts yeah I know it took it? me an hour actually did to it? stitch this because right. there's that much fabric in there now if we hold it up Alice yep. I think you will agree that's a good size piece of fabric and we are talking when you're actually putting those fabrics side to side I've got a quarter inch seam across these so it's made yep. it slightly narrower but you're looking at a metre and a half worth of fabric with this so there's a lot of fabric in there and you can see there exactly what Cave's known for the colour, the yeah. prints, the absolutely incredible inspiration that he gives us. But it's a fabulous bundle. And the beauty is not only do you get your fabric, fabrics, you get 14 projects mm. that Kaif has put in a book to inspire you of what to do with those fabrics. But don't they look gorgeous? They do. They're right up my street because they're, they're so beauty? bright and exactly, vivid. Yeah. There's nothing wishy-washy about these. Mm. Some people might look at them and say, oh, well, hang on a minute. They are bright. They yeah. are very bright. But you will see, especially when we have a thumb through the, uh, the actual book, yeah, when you naturally, you'll have your solid at home you'll have some of those plain fabrics when you introduce those it kind of dilutes down some of those brighter prints mm. but to be honest I just love them all put together they're cool aren't they we're already 20% of the stock gone of the I'm one day surprised. special we haven't been uh, we haven't even looked in, in the, now, in the can book I mention with the one day special because I asked the question about this earlier on the stock that we've got with regards to one day special that is it. the problem that we've got is with regards to the book right I see so um, if we do sell out mm -hmm. you're not going to get the book oh okay yeah. well we best so, have a flick through so you mm -hmm. can see it but I love so all the fabric arrives in this lovely tray gosh it's absolutely gone I'm not crackers. surprised not surprised at all I mean when I realized the value that we've got less than 20 pounds now the book itself you'd be paying 9.99 for this you book. would you would wouldn't uh, you? so that means that you're paying a t I can't believe I'm actually saying this out loud yeah 10 pounds for a meter and a half of cave facet fabric <laughs> I hope he's not watching because he's going to be brutally offended that we're selling it at this kind of price <laughs> My goodness, we are. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Now, in here, you've got a variety of different styles of projects. So you can see there's lots of quilts, but look at these. Absolutely wow. gorgeous. There you go, bringing in a few of your solids, perhaps. Here, you can see making your squares, doing almost like a checkerboard effect. Using the colour, the colour, just, just go for it. Just feel the flow with this. Don't be afraid. Can you see how the colours have been separating Sorry. out with that one, that bringing one. in some other colours? Mm. Kind of draws the eye then to that zigzag where you've got these gorgeous fabrics coming in. Um, and you can can see here you whether you're into your hand sewing whether you're into your um, your fabric sewing with your, mati uh, your machine gosh I can't get my words out I can hear how busy we are that's what's throwing me because I'm rapidly thinking where are we going oh, that's, that's why I was <laughs> pulling faces because <laughs> over half the stock has gone once this is gone, this is gone. Yep, that's it. Yep, right. Once, once it's gone, the book, we can't get any more of the one day specials. I don't know what will happen after that. We may well be able to get the fabrics, but you certainly won't be getting the bundle you're seeing on your screen. So you need to get in early for that. That's all I can say. You do. You do. So we'll give you the details then. Uh, £19.98, uh, 040188 is your item number. Have a look on the website. We've got lots of fabulous fabric bundles on the web half meter bundles that you can choose from loads of different colors look at this now we've also got a pick and mix um, so you can pick any two of these fabrics oh i would like to pick that middle one that yeah that one and the first one green and purple wave thank you those are my two they're very me though aren't they very me uh, do give us a call 01733602000 or you can check out on the website at hachanda.com no way three quarters of the stock has gone of the one day special 
Um, we're only five minutes in. <laughs> this is a little bit of a panic, a little bit of a panic going on. Now, um, now look, if we sell out, you're going to end up with another mad hour of me on my own, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> now, as I said, when your bundle comes to you, let me show you one. This is literally yeah. as it arrives. It comes in this fabulous box here, which is brilliant for your storage. Mm. And as I say, I, scrap, I mean, yeah, these are no scraps. No, they're not. You can see here you've got free spirit on the box there. You're getting around half a pound's worth of fabric in there. Now, of course, that can vary because of the, the weight. To be honest, every single strip that I had was a similar sort of weight, so there's a lot of kind of variance within that. Right. So you know that you're going to get... In my pack, it was about 25 strips, something like that. So that's what we've got in there. We've got green on the screen. I'm saying nothing. OK. <laughs> so the box, I mean, brilliant for storage anyway. So if you wanted to get hold of that. Here we've got, obviously, a wonderful bundle. Now, these are new ones. I haven't seen these. I didn't have these in my pack. So this is the beauty. You're going to get all sorts. Your florals, your bright tones, your really rainbow of colours there. Large prints. Large prints that sometimes, if you looked at a whole metre or a half a metre of these, you'd think, oh, my goodness, I don't know if I could do anything with that. Oh, you can. But these are biteable size pieces. And the price that we've got on the screen is a price that worth going for, definitely. It's gone. Oh gosh, it's really? Gone. Is that? Okay. Do you reckon that's the fastest sellout of a one-day special we've ever had? Six Not minutes. Not that one, is it? Okay, <laughs> six minutes. Wow. Well, and I know it was down to the, the fact of the actual books. That was the issue. Right. That, okay. That's, that's why it's gone so quick. But um, with regards to the actual scrap box, I mean, brilliant value mm. for money at nine ninety nine by itself. So Indeed. yeah, there you go. Here you go. Well, so then. we have got the fabric by itself. Like you said, Haley, the issue was we only had um, so many of the books. Fourteen ninety nine. Uh, five pound saving on this. Five three nine eight two one. Uh, this now, is also really busy. I don't want to kind of worry anyone, but when they said we'd only got a limited number of books, I thought that meant that the one day special would be the same price, but without the book, as in 19.99. Yeah. I didn't realise they were going to be knocking a fiver off it as well. Wow. Now, yes. I don't need to say anything. 14.99, you're getting a metre and a half's worth of Cave Facets fabric. You would normally pay for a metre, you're probably looking around £19 a metre, 18 99 a metre. That's for one metre, so you're getting a full metre, plus that extra, of course, in the strips. Right, I better get a jog no, on. No, okay. you have the stock right. and the fabric's gone. OK, OK, <laughs> stay calm, stay calm. Okay. Just remember to breathe. That's the key thing. Again, different fabrics again. If you're wanting to go for a couple of these, you're not going to be disappointed, I don't think. No. So, what I've done is the pick and mix that we've got, which I'm sure, uh, please let me know that we're going to have a look at that later on, Alex, because otherwise I don't know what we're going to do. It's really busy, she's okay, saying. Okay, fair enough. Well, there's a pick and mix. Um, the details you can see, I'm, I'm not going to do Alex's oh, job. that's all right. <laughs> the details at the bottom of the screen, do look at that, because this is one of the fabrics mm. that I got from the pick and mix. What I've done is I've cut a three-inch square, um, which basically is the same width that we're looking at with regards to um, our sets here. So all I'm going to do is literally take... I mean, I could have gone for one of those, but I wanted something that was a little bit plainer, mm. a, a simpler tone. So that's why I've gone for one of the pick and mixes. Lovely. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of log cabin. Okay. But we're not going to do it in the traditional sense whereby you've got your light on one half and your dark on the other. I'm keeping this simple for anybody. So if anybody just thinks, well, do you know what? I want to have a go. Mm. And at 14 99 that is a have-a-go price. Right. It's not too disappointing. No, it's not. Um, and it's fabric. You can unpick it and use it for something else if you want to. So all I'm doing is I'm taking that square and I'm going to take just any one of these. Pick a fabric. Go on, Alex. Pick any fabric well, you like. Well, I do like, like this, this one because so it's take, my favourite colours. That Lovely. one. Well, that's a nice choice because that's Working alongside the oh, one right, that right. we've got here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go right sides together, and it's going to be a similar sort of size square that we're stitching in place here. And all I'm going to do is stitch one to the other. So I'm just going to go down the side there um, and just do a quarter inch seam. And that's a pretty standard seam um, with regards to, um, to, to quilting. Yeah. Now, you'll notice that the square that I did before, I could have done that with a rotary cutter. In fact, I did do it with a rotary cutter. But to be honest, you could just do it with a pair of scissors if you wanted to. So this is a project that you don't actually have to have any grand quilting um, paraphernalia. Okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my threads there. And I'm just going to move my um, machine just to the side because we're going to be doing a fair bit of snipping with this one. Mm -hmm. But all that we're going to snip each, each time is across the width of the fabric. So all I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, and I know lots of people will say you shouldn't be holding it in your hand when you're cutting, and I wouldn't do normally. It's just it's a little bit easier for on the camera mm -hmm. and when I'm sitting down. I'm just going to trim that again across there like so. Now, those eagle-eyed amongst you will say, hang on a minute, she hasn't got it lined up there. Don't worry, it doesn't matter. Alex, throw another fabric at me. Uh, well, I'm going to throw a, throw, a, th uh, throw a 
fact to you, a stock update, because we're 40% gone oh, off the scrap box. Okay, fair enough. Do you mind a clashing one? No, cool. all the better. Oh. I love it. Nice. I don't know about you, but I like breaking rules when it comes I to colour. Spots yeah. and stripes together, I love it. Yeah. Um, now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim that across there. Do hang on to these little pieces as well. The lovely Nicola was here um, from... Um, Daisy and Grace. Daisy oh, yes. and Grace, she comes to us from. And she's got some fabulous projects that she actually did with the little salvages. It was a few months ago yeah. that she did the show, but I'm sure she'll have it on the website. Now, all I've done is I've pressed open. I've just pr literally hand-pressed it because the way we're going, we haven't got time to go to the sewing machine. Mm -hmm. So I've used the little tool um, that the lovely Maggie and Kay yeah. bring to us. And that's perfect for when you're just wanting to do quick little presses like so. And then all I'm going to do is take this fabric, and this time I'm going to run it along the long side like so okay and then all i'm going to do is stitch that down like there and then stitch that down put my glasses on just because well it helps <laughs> being able to see so you can see they're going to go down there like so yeah just keep an eye on when your fabric comes to an end but by doing it like this you're not wasting any fabrics you see mm. because if you, you could always go and measure uh, and do all that measuring before beforehand and cut all your fabrics but then you might find well you'll have bits left over yeah. and they're little scrappy pieces with this you are not wasting a bit again i'm going to go across there and across there again and then I'm going to open it. And basically what we're doing, we are surrounding this piece here. I see, as yeah. As we go. Actually, no, it's not. I'm telling the fib. It's that piece we're going to be surrounding as we're working our way around. Half the stock is gone. Flat. Alex, you know what I'm going to say to you? Pick a random piece. Pick another piece of fabric. Let's um, just go for anything. Uh, what are you inspired uh, this by? This one, this one. I'm going to do this one. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Nice hot pink. Mm. Nice choice. Like that one. Let's just trim that salvage off again as well. Yep. You don't have to do this, but what you will find sometimes with the selvages, you've got little tiny holes in there, so you can see that with the right. this. Oh, now, quick mention, apologies, it's only because we were panicking because everything on the whole show is selling out. Uh, there is a nine-day delay again because of Christmas, etc., etc. Yeah. But, boy, is this worth waiting for. Well, this is, yeah. and I think this is where we're going to run into problems because I know the company that supply us, I think they've already broken up for Christmas. Ah. So, yeah. I'm not going to have any input in that whatsoever. Okay. Um, because, yeah, just, just saying that we might not even be able to get hold of anybody. So, again, just doing exactly as we mentioned before, snipping it along again, flip that over, take your scissors, mm -hmm. and then just snip along that <coughs> edge there. Excuse me. Like so. So you can see what we're doing. We're basically yeah. surrounding that piece. Actually, it is that piece we're surrounding. <laughs> Yeah, I think you need, probably need okay. some yellow on that side. So there you go. Yeah, it's the yeah, head of me, Alex. This is what I call teamwork. <laughs> there we go. Of, so again, we'll now, on that one. this is where we start seeing a bit of uniformity because you'll notice as we're working around this one with almost like the pebbles on there, yeah, you'll see because you'll start thinking to yourself, well, hang on a minute, whereabouts do I need to sew? Which side does it need to go on? This, after you've done your first well, your first seam, your second seam, and your third seam, then you'll start noticing that on some sides you've got two little seams there. So you can see on this side you've got two seams. Mm -hmm. If you turn it around, this side you've only got one, this side you've only got one. Yeah. And this means that where you've got your two seams, that's where your fabric is going to go next. And oh, what a choice, Do you like Alex. That one? Good, good. I like your style. Well, to be honest, they're all fantastic. Can't go far wrong, can no. you, with these? So again, I'm just going to trim that edge off there. So when, when did you first hear about cave? Because obviously, you know, I don't oh, do gosh. that much stuff. Oh, no, no, it's always, know. no, and, and, and I completely get that, Alex, yeah. because you can't do nobody everything. Can expect you to know any, all the big names, but yeah. um, I don't know, I suppose it's when I started getting into quilting. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you can do your own research, but you'll find that, I mean, there's so much from um, Kaif out there, and there's uh -huh. so many different ways that you can actually um, build up quilts that he's designed. I Lovely. mean, we were talking obviously about the book that got 14 projects in there, but yeah. online you will find inspiration from him, and you'll see that if you are an accomplished um, quilter, yeah. you'll be able to see straight away and you'll know how these designs have but been put really together. But he's really well known, you think? He's well known. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. If I remember rightly, it's a long time since I've done more research on Cave, and um, if I remember rightly, I think the first inspiration that he got for colour was looking at the landscape when he was on a train journey. Isn't that fun? And he yeah. was either coming to or coming away from, I think it was Edinburgh, I want to say. If you know at home as well, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I think great. it was awesome. 
colour of, and it was the colour of all the heathers oh, that you could lovely. see in the um, in the landscape. Um, and of course, the backdrop of that against kind of the green, or I don't know what time of year it was it, that he was travelling, but that was the colour, that was the drama right. that made him start looking into colour nice and playing around with colour. So, okay, now can you see what we've got there? We've got a square that we've created. Yeah. So what I'm going to actually do is come in just to extend mm -hmm. that out. Not that I don't love those colours, but I'm going to kind of separate these out now. Yeah. So I'm going to take just a little bit of white um, fabric that I've got or off-white fabric, and this could be just from your stash. So again, just bear in mind, it needs to be 100% mm -hmm. cotton because that's what we're working with here. So similar sort of weight. I love, I can hear loads of voices in the gallery because they're like, nobody's ah! talking to us, are <laughs> <Yeah>. they? <laughs> <laughs> So um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to add a little bit of white there. So again, quarter of an inch from the edge. Uh, okay, right, so three quarters of the stock oh has gone. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we're going to go right the way to the edge again there, like so, and then cut the threads. And what we're doing now is by introducing a plane, we're kind of going kind to of be separating it out and almost creating donuts around. Okay, square, yeah. square donuts. Does that make sense? Yeah, square donuts. Square donuts. <laughs> well, you can make any donut a square if you buy it off the corner, really. Yeah. <laughs> but there you go. Yes, so I like that, that philosophy. <laughs> Again, we're just going to go in with the tool there just to finger press. But if you were at home mm -hmm. and you've got a bit more time, the way we're going, though, time is not a bit of a luxury I know. at this moment. Do you I know, if you have a bite out of several donuts, you're never having a whole one. That's a true thought, isn't it, Alex? It's my like philosophy. A philosophy. If you eat somebody else's donuts, it's their calories, not this yours. This is true. <laughs> and always start with a hole in the middle, calorie free. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> now, um, again, same rule that I was telling you before. Look for the side where you've got the two seams. So two seams there, two seams there. There's only one seam there, there's only one seam there. So that's the way that I know that my fabric needs to sit on this part over here yeah. again. So again, all I'm going to do is go back in. And this could be a narrower piece if you want to do. I've done it exactly the same width of mm -hmm. um, the, uh, <laughs> well, originally the one day special. Because the plan was, Alex. <laughs> the plan. What the plan, plan was <laughs> that this would kind of grow and grow right yeah. the way through to final call. <laughs> Which well, is 17 what, minutes into it's the hour. five hours worth of shows. Well, live shows, yeah. anyway. Uh, but now, I think we'll be fortunate if we've got 50 minutes oh, no. <laughs> with these, the way they're going. No. Um, so, again, I'm just going to go straight along the edge there. And uh, as I say, this is one of those ones... <laughs> Be greedy. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, this kind of uh, price. I mean, it's a big save event, and we're, we're not going to be able to bring a deal like this back to you. And I know I can hear that we're kind of scurrying away around for a plan B, um, but it's not going to be a K facet brand. Um, brand B. <laughs> K facet plan B. Right. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. So, yeah. Eighty percent gone. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to work my way around here again just pressing as we go would be much better if I was to actually do this as I say using my iron but for speed speedy 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 okay all I'm doing is adding to this and then I'm just going to keep going until I've completely surrounded this piece and then we are going to start working mm -hmm. um, on colors again lovely no, it looks so funky. I this really like it. Again, if you're a little bit scared of colour, because I know some people are. It's, I mean, most people absolutely adore it when they see colours like this put yeah. together. It's just, I mean, my shirt, this was another of my demos and that I was like planned that. to actually do something along the lines of my shirt. Um, oh, I'm getting myself in a tangle with this particular thread here. Um, but, uh, yeah, with with this, I mean, you can do plique with this. You can do, do so much with this. It's all like that. got in a bit of a tangle there, so I've gone and pulled it out of the needle. So let's just re-thread the needle. And then we can do this next row. Mm -hmm. That's if we've got. I've just realised I've actually got brown thread in here as well. That wasn't oh. really very well planned, was it? Oh, but never worry. mind. Never mind. Never mind. So again, that's going to go edge to edge along the side where you've got your two seams. But you can see, fabric is something that's not to be scared of. Mm -hmm. um, and as I say, affordable priced fabric means that you can get some brilliant results with minimal knowledge Absolutely. i mean this is just a square as i say a square you don't even have to think about it just the same width of the fabric that you started with so the clue is in the strips of fabric to start with which are bigger than your strips yeah. that you would normally get um so straight away you've got value for a minute and i mean mm -hmm. as i say 
put them side by side, you're looking at a metre and a half worth. Brilliant. Metre and a In half fact, worth. Is this the one? Is this the one That's again? That's where I stitched them all together. Yeah. Look at Again, that. Again, we've got plans for that. <laughs> we, we had. Plans, yeah. plans, plans. We're approaching limited. It's going to go. It's, yeah, Katie in our ears are saying this has got to be a record. <laughs> Oh my poor little brain's like thinking, OK, what have they got planned for me now? Is it going to be tap dancing? Is it going to be karaoke? No, it's going to be a slot doing happy hour deals and oh, then I'll start talking about aliens and flamingos again. <laughs> is that what happens? Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, that's not a bad thing, is it? With all those bargains. Mm. But yeah, I mean, the, the fabrics, when the fabrics um, arrived, I'm at, I got the half metre fabrics before I actually got oh, the one you? day special. Yeah. And I was like, oh. But you know what? The, the fabrics that you look at and they're just a bit like your papers when you look at them you're like oh I don't know if I want to cut mm. into this because this is just so gorgeous but I think with the strips it kind of gives you the confidence because they've already been cut yeah when you've got like a, a meter or a half meter of fabric that's quite an expansive fabric and you're thinking to yourself well hang on a minute mm. if I cut into this this is well not expensive but it's, it's more costly absolutely yeah but when you actually got something like those bundles that we're chatting about those scrap packs which are not scrap packs at all no just, they're not they're great I almost wanted to go through and put like a line through everything and say not scrap no. packs because they're <laughs> certainly so not new. scraps we are limited now they will arrive to you if you're lucky enough to get them in this fabulous box it will be full of wonderful materials. Now, can I quickly just give this a press with the iron because we've kind of just completed yeah. the rotation just All to give you it. an idea. And then what I'll do is I'll lay one of the fabrics by the side of it because mm. I've got a feeling we're not going to be able to continue with this particular project. No. But here you go. We can see here. I mean, should I carry on adding a bit more fabric while we've got the chance? Okay, yeah, okay, cool, we're going to cool. keep going with it. So, Alex, yes, now, another one. That's what we've got so far. Yep. So we're starting off again. So uh, yeah, you can choose. But at this point, this is where you could actually change to a completely different style if you were, didn't want to kind of draw on the inspiration from there. But yeah. So it's entirely true. Going to go with that one. I think so. That's nice. Thank I like you. that one. Good choice. I like them all. Well, like this is all. it. Is it just easy? Mm. Now again, I'm just going to lay that down the, by the side there. I'm going to run it along the edge. The edge with how many seams, Alex? How many seams? Two seams. seams. Two seams. <laughs> <laughs> As you look around the edge of the uh, the square, what you'll find is you'll you'll have a single seam, yeah. or you'll have a double seam. Okay. Um, and it's putting you on the spot there because you're not a sewer, Alex. So you, oh, would, right. you wouldn't have. Uh, is it is it quarter of it. a uh, quarter of an inch? Quarter of an inch. Again, that's not set in stone. Just keep your continuity throughout your project. But mixing it up sometimes, because you, you don't have to use these strips in the three inch width. If you wanted to, yep. you can quite easily cut them lengthways, which I know some people will, because yep. quite often log cabin, you are working with narrower strips of fabric. So, uh, yeah. Oh, say that again. Oh, lots, oh, lots of, of K fans. Oh, oh that's good. really good. Thank you. That's lovely. I bet they're falling over themselves to get hold of this Absolutely. deal. Absolutely. Well, I can tell you, we are single figures of the scrap bundle. It is going to get. It's my. Here's my phrase: fastest fingers first. That's yeah. what it is. I use that yeah. one too. Do you? Um, <laughs> need another one, Alex? Please. Oh, another one. Sorry, I was being slow. <laughs> uh, have you used this one yet? Uh, have you done that one? Um, I don't know. Don't want similar. Don't want similar. I don't think it's the same. But How yeah. about this one? You want to do that? Oh, that looks nice. Like um, this one. We've technically sold out. Oh wow. Yeah. Thank you. Um, do check out your basket so that you can secure it. Um, while we wonder what on earth we're going to do now, um, here's Janice. Hello everyone, I've got a minute uh, or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. 
I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge, and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. Whoa, what a busy hour. This is incredible. Sold out of the one day special in six minutes. We've now lost our scrap box, which isn't, as Hayley said, uh, really a scrap box. You've got some beautiful fabrics. Thank you for purchasing and enjoy. It'll be a really nice gift for you when, that you receive in the new year. Um, we have some half metre bundles. Now you get five in each. This is called the purple pastiche. Oh, wow, is there a 20 pound saving on all of them? These are also your CAFE facet set. Uh, uh, so you've got half a metre each. Let's open up. I like this, I like this one. Let's open this one up. This is lovely stuff. Do you know what? And it's so soft as well. 60% of the stock's gone. I do not know what Hayley and Adam are going to do at eight o'clock. I have no idea. This is lovely. I would totally have a pencil skirt in this. I really like it. Mm. So that, that's, you can see the nice size. Oh, it's so luscious, this fabric. Hang on, let's try and put it back. I'm never very good at folding. I think you have to get practised at it. There we are. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. But look at those. You can see the gorgeous green under there. Let's move that out the way. And this beautiful one. Oh yeah, I can see Kate saying more like peacocks. And then you've got that one with all the spots on. So that's your first collection, your purple pastiche. Yes, this is part of it as well. I just, it's because Andy, uh, Andy's saying, what about the other one? That's because I just preferred that one. But it doesn't matter because you c you're getting them all. So that's all right then. Okay. Now, are these all under the same item number, Arkady? Okay, so for this set then, 907248 and it's 2495. 20 pounds off, again, bargain. Next one then, this is the turquoise explosion. This is not, I like how it sort of seeps. Do you see what I mean? Almost like you've done a brush stroke and then off the edge. Lovely. Uh, you've also got this, that's quite, that's quite dazzling actually, but like in a really fun way. And oh, nice print with your leaves. Sort of quite tropical. Then you've got the spots within spots. And last but not least, we've got these really funky flowers. Again, that's another 20 pounds off, five half meters in total for 24 pounds and 95 pence, triple three, zero one three. Pink medley is next already 30 percent of the stock has gone and then we've got this one lovely flowers here that's nice the light and shade don't you think and then we've got oh Haley's. i think going to use this one lovely oh that's fun that's fun and funky and we've got would you say they're feathers or leaves feathers lovely and then I really, why does this, this reminds me, I know what's popped into my head, it reminds me of a certain dinosaur, it's a kid program, yeah, that that's suddenly popped into my head, not that I um, watch them, uh, <laughs> what, say that again Andy, <laughs> Andy our director is saying you met Barney, <laughs> other dinosaurs available, uh, £24.95, pence. you've got £20 off, 324870, then we've got our green fusion. Was he nice, Andy? Very nice, <laughs> very nice dinosaur. Very tall. <laughs> right, uh, so what did we call this option, sorry? Green fusion, we've got that lovely, oh, that's nice. Um, this reminds me of a nice tablecloth. Oh, this is, I like that, zigzags. Um, bit more muted, bit more subtle, but then 
not subtle, really nice and bold. £24.99 for five half metres, uh, £20 off, of course, 607311. And then we've got the muted undertones. Uh, look, we've got the like muted undertone. Sounds like a band, Hayley says. That's a good name <laughs> for a band. I agree. You've got the greys. Oh, I love those. Really nice colours. Mm -hmm. um, and you've got the browns. And then lovely autumny leaves. And then uh, the sky blues in that one. $24.99, same price, 274588. Now they are all available as part of a pick and mix. You can choose any two if you do want to mix and match. £10.98, pence, another great price, £7 off, 910010. We have books. Bold Blooms, these are also by Kaif. Let's have a look in here. 220, wow, look at that. 223 pages, lots and lots of quilts and other works. What's this say? Uh, the introduction, um, oh, there's Kaif, there he is. That's, that's what he looks like in case you wanted to know. And Let's, let's have a look through some of these projects. Look how bold this is. Definitely does what it says on the title of the book. Um, oh, some more projects. There's loads of projects, loads of information in here. Check this out. Fantastic, look, there's qu all sorts of quilts. Look at all that detail in that one, amazing. Gorgeous, oh, we've got some knitted projects in here. Right, so that is your bold uh, blooms. It's 19.99. Oh look, I mean you're saving virtually the same price. 19 pounds and 96 pence you're saving. 107609. Then we've got the simple shape spectacular. I'm just going to pick this one up if that's all right because it's just a bit easier. Uh, simple shape spectacular. 23 original quilt designs. Oh, you don't want to see the blank page. Let's see. Let's go through. Oh, great. Look, you can see all of them there. They're just, um, showing you the squares, the triangles. Oh, that one's a good one. That's a bit different. I like different. Oh, bold. Tells you how to piece it all together. Step by step instructions. I wonder how many quilts Kate's got. Hmm. Look at that diamond shapes. Circle of stars. That's lovely. Oh, yes. Gorgeous. So. 23 original quilt designs in this book. It's $24.99. Again, you're saving just shy of £20. 657913. We've also got some quilting essentials on the website. Here they are. So we've got some um, Fisker's Easy Action scissors. Then there's also the acrylic folding ruler and the square folding ruler. Mill Shop Online, pick and mix. Okay. Any two products for 1998. Do you know I've still not worked with Joe? Why is this? Still, still, still. They're keeping us apart, and I don't know why. Um, we've also got the. You can see there's the heat, heat resistant table protector, polyester cushions, bag of crafting. Crafting what was that? Wadding. I think so. Yeah. So you can pick and mix on there. Have a little look. Uh, fantastic. Right. We don't have a lot of stock at all. <laughs> <laughs> busy, busy, busy. I know. Busy, busy. Now, I don't know what I've done. I had a rotary cutter earlier on. Not that one. I've got another one, and I don't know what I've done with it. I think I might have left it in the presenter's lounge, but it doesn't matter. So, what I've done is I've just taken a pair of scissors to do this. So, it's another one of those projects that you don't really need um, fancy uh, uh, tools for. So, what I've done is I've taken some of that um, gorgeous pink bun um, bundle that you were looking at. I forgot what you said it was called now. Pink, pink, pink medley. medley. That's the one. It's on the screen there. Um, and I suddenly thought, I love that. But do you know what? Kafe is known for kind of putting his different patterns together and getting yeah. that kind of clash so this was just a little piece that had got left over from a project that mm -hmm. again was planned for another demo later on this was something I did on my embroidery machine at home beforehand okay. took one of those fabrics and I did so if you've got an embroidery machine this was just a, a an oval again you could do it with your own free motion and Ali's quilting rulers actually and all I did was I appliqued that and I was going to use that as a, a cushion pad um, as the uh, sorry a cushion cover as time goes on and there was some fabric that was left over so I literally have just taken that tripped off the um, the salvage and all I'm going to do is 
actually put that across but I don't want to waste it mm. I don't want to waste any of this pink fabric not nope. being able to see it underneath so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to slice through the pink fabric and kind of have this as a shot of turquoise and jades and greens Ooh, going nice. through that fabric and that little bag that we're making so I'm going to go um, I'm not done any measuring with this but I'm going to go I think that's going to be around the halfway point if I insert insert it there yeah so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go across with my fabrics again if you were at home you would press this you would take the time and trouble to make sure that you get it spot on and then what I'm going to do is actually stitch those together and have that power of colour going horizontally power. across our bag as well haven't bothered changing the threads That's um, right. but um, all we're going to do again at this point it could be a quarter of an inch it could be half an inch it doesn't really matter to be honest this is just like a little project um, that you could be picking up you might be able to find something like this on the internet or in one of your crafty books so those fabulous books that you had earlier on there's loads of ideas in there that yeah. you could be using them for run uh, your seam across like so have you always sewn since you're a little girl um, i've always crafted yeah. um, and sewing probably was one of the first ones that i did my mm. inspiration was my mom's old next door neighbor mrs morgan oh yes it's in the days when everybody was either a mrs or an auntie yes yeah you, know you always had extended family that they were always aunties Aww. i had an auntie Anne that used to live next door to the the sweet shop right but she wasn't actually related but anyway <laughs> this is mrs morgan who's our next door neighbor um, and she used to have one of the good old-fashioned black and gold style my mom's sewing got machines one. Yeah. so hers a treadle one as well she, yes. yeah and she still oh, uses it fabulous yeah. just hypnotic watching us sew and she did loads and loads of sewing my mom um, did so but not uh, in such i don't know why it didn't have such a kind of impact on me i think it's because i was introduced to it at a younger age yeah. with mrs morgan um, and she made things like um, bridesmaids dresses uh. for my sister's wedding oh, really? and, and all sorts of fabulous things and she was my inspiration mm -hmm. um, when i actually um, got to school because i didn't really do a lot of sewing as a, a child other than the sort of things that you used to do for like cindy yeah. and pippa and all those things that we used to play with um, but then um, went off to, to school and I thought oh I'm gonna take needlework as, as one of well it wasn't actually an option they it taught it as one of your standard subjects right um, it's a bit and they don't I know think, yeah I think it was actually was it a case that you either did art or needlework it wasn't kind of an option they decided which one you were good oh. at Oh, <laughs> so I kind of did needlework or it was part of home studies or something like that I can't remember but um, yeah. yeah it's one of those ones and um, I did, did an A-line mm. skirt. Yeah. Now this is fashion for you. Yeah. It was red and white gingham. Gingham. You get any idea? Yeah. And it was an A-line skirt. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Needless to say, I was shocking. Absolutely <laughs> horrendous at sewing. Bless you. Um, and my mum, bless her, she had to actually unpick it. Um, it was that bad and here I am now sewing for my, for my bread and butter demonstrating <laughs> the <amazing>. irony <laughs> um, but yeah it's, it's one of those things yeah so uh, yeah I've always been interested in sewing and then in the 80s I did a lot of my own clothes made yeah. a lot of my own clothes and Lovely. things like that which I used to love now bright pink zip as you can yes. see here perfect for inserting in here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it along the side there but what I'm also going to do is bring in a green fabric which is going to be the lining now I know at this stage that the pink is going to be way too long for the lining but we'll trim that off again in a few moments but all i'm going to do is clip that on there okay. um, i haven't got my pins handy but just a few little kind of quilt clips and all i'm going to do i don't know if i've got my zipper foot with me have i no i haven't so we'll just kind of fly by the seats of our pants on this particular <laughs> okay. one and just kind of do a, a rough um zip going along the edge there most machines will have a zipper foot which means that you can actually get your ne mm. um, your needle quite close to um your uh, uh zip itself yeah but on this one we're kind of uh yeah we'll kind of nudge it over this way i think there we go uh, and now our purple over. pastiche this is limited stock that's it it's gonna go it's gonna be the next thing to go now let me just get to that zip under there i might have to open it up a little bit to get through I don't want to kind of catch that as I go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't want to open up. No, it did a minute ago. There we go. This is all these fabrics are such a nice present Aren't for they yourself. Gorgeous, yeah. Yeah. And they're lovely, happy colours. This are. is the thing. I mean, 
it doesn't matter what you sew in with these, whether they're bags, whether they're quilts, you are going to be making something that is going to be truly inspirational. Mm. Truly inspirational. Now, I don't know why I'm sitting as I am with this sewing machine so far away, but it seems to be working. <laughs> I don't know why. I just realised like, it's, it's like it's miles away, but never mind. You can see what I'm doing, and that's the main thing. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and do the first part of that zip because it went off a little bit there, and I'm not happy with that. So okay. I'm going to come back in and rest the foot along the edge there and then so stitch that. I guess you're showing that you don't have to have a zipper foot you don't know is no, it just handy? Is it? well the zipper foot you, it kind of doesn't have this you can see how you got this like little arm on the, the the side of the foot there it doesn't have that so it means that you can get that needle right up close to where oh, the teeth are but you don't have to have a zipper foot um, in the old days machines just had one foot and that was it okay. they never used to have like zigzags or even reverse on some of the original machines so it was just literally um, a straight stitch machine right so that's one half of our zipper in place you can see we're kind of doing the lining at the same time lining our little bag there but all I need to do is make sure that I'm trimming these fabrics off so as they're matching at the bottom there I love so the pink lovely. and the green what a clash it's awesome well this is it this mm. is what it's all about isn't it yeah it's like there's a poem isn't there that's um, all about when I when I grow older I want to wear I think it's pink and red or something like that it's about, oh yeah I can't think what it's called now but it's a, it's one of those oh. ones for there's a lot of people out there that will know exactly what I'm talking about so if you are watching and there is time to email in let okay. us know so when I am older I, I shall wear pink or uh, purple or what, something like that it's a poem like or something? it's a poem oh. yeah um, and it, it, it's all about like that you're just going to wear what you want and when you want and you don't care yeah. and that's what it's all about Again, I'm just coming in with my scissors now, just trimming that off roughly again. We're not talking about strict measurements. We're not talking about sending the sewing police round if you don't do it all bang on. <laughs> sewing police. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take, again, the right side of the fabric to the right side of the zip, yep. like so, and stitch that in place. And again, the lining, we're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side like so and then put my little cli um, quilt clips in place which is not an easy tongue twister to say yeah. could go horribly wrong if you're not careful I didn't realize you could do the lining at the same time yeah yeah, yeah you can do what you do need to do though is when we come to do the side part we just need to little leave a little bit of a gap so we can actually turn it inside out yeah um, just a little turning gap Okay. You pick up all these little kind of tips and hints. No, it's great. We have some fabulous people come and guest for us here at oh, Chanda, and everybody's full of so many different wonderful things to help us along our way. Yeah, we had lovely Sue on earlier, and her oh. husband made a debut. Oh, did he really? Yes. Oh, yes. Is it? oh now let me think. Is it, it begins with G? Was it, is, is Daniel. It's Daniel. 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 I was thinking Gareth, but it's not Daniel. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. So and they're, they're so knowledgeable. Sue, Sue, and Gail. That's uh, it. That's it. Sue, Sue, yeah. Gail. Oh, I've known them for quite some time. Have you? Oh, I didn't realise. Yeah. That. They're, they're very much involved with um, FAF um, sewing machines, and of right. course, I used to work for Husqvarna Viking and FAF. So yes, yeah, lovely couple. And the lovely girl, yeah, I had a show Gail was in um, not so long ago with some fabulous patterns, mm. which is always busy because she's just so inspirational. Well, Daniel was saying that she's got a, like an engineering background, I think this is right, and so that's Who? how <laughs> Gail, Gail oh, I, I think this know. is right. Oh, right. So she constructs. Oh. All that would make sense yeah. because some of the things that she comes up with, I think to myself, how on earth do you manage to do that? Mm -hmm. I would use metres and metres of fabric and waste it trying to figure out how it all comes together. <laughs> now, I've made my little zip, um, well, my little purse. It's got no sides at the side. Well, I'll say purse, little bag, whatever you want to call it. So if you turn it inside out, you can see that we've got the zip in place there. I might have caught the zip in the, the fabric. There we go. Ah, brilliant. So there you go. So you can see how that's going to come together. So we're just going to put um, stitch the sides. Mm -hmm. But um, all we need to do is either, well, you can just make sure that the zip's open, to be fair. That's one way that you can do it to ensure that uh, you can turn it the right way around. But basically, you're turning it all back inside out mm -hmm. and then stitching down the side pieces. So you open it out like so. Yeah. So you've got your right sides of your cafe facet fabric yep. and then your right sides together of your other fabric this stage do make sure that that zip is open so as you can um, turn it in fact no we need to make sure that one of the other sides is open don't I hang on make sure that I'm turning this no it's one of these sides that I need to make sure it's open I'm arguing with myself. No, it's okay to yourself. It happens a lot. <laughs> so I'm just going to make sure that I've got this gap. I'm going to bring the sewing machine a bit closer to me, actually, sure. if that's okay. Because that's the third. I don't know why, why it's so far away, but there we go. Um, and I'm just going to drop the foot down there yep. and then just stitch this. And then, um, oops, a daisy, come back onto the fabric, still on reverse. There we go. Uh, half forward. the stock of the pink medley has gone. £24.95. That's 20 no, sorry, £20 off. 
324870 is your item number. You were right. Is it stitching? No, I think it's coming. This is my thread come out my needle. Oh, it's so it has. Oh, okay. I'm doing invisible stitching. <laughs> it's like stitching the Emperor's clothes. Oh, yes. <laughs> there's no such thing, there's no stitch there. <laughs> I was reminded of that story the other day because oh, I'd forgotten really? about it. I don't know what we were talking oh, about. I used to love those kind of stories, all like Aesop's fables and all yeah. that kind of thing. Mm. The tortoise and the hare and all those yeah. fabulous stories. So are you all set for Christmas now, Alex? No. Oh, no. <laughs> You've been here, though, haven't you? I have. You've been <laughs> keeping us going. I was going to ask you the same question, actually. Are you? Um, I'm there. Nothing's wrapped. No, that's <laughs> my problem. So I've got everything, but yeah. yes, yeah. I might engage my daughter. She's, she's going to be back Christmas Eve, so I might kind of get her to do yay, it for back me. back for Christmas. That's so she's going to be your little elf? She will, yeah. Yeah. My little Phoebe, bless her. She does like wrapping them up, but wrapping up oh. parcels. But you see, we've had a new addition to our family. I <laughs> so I think she might be a bit distracted. Uh, <laughs> The lovely little dog called Molly. Yeah, little Molly. Yeah. Um, we, we had to say goodbye to Millie a little while ago. Oh, yeah. and, and I have to say, we, were, we weren't planning on getting another dog this side of Christmas. We we're going to leave it till New Year. Mm. Um, but um, a rescue got in touch with us and they said that they'd had this little one come in and, yeah. and would we be interested in seeing her? Um, because they needed ideally to get her placed before Christmas. Mm -hmm. So we said, yeah, of course, yeah, not a problem. So she's on a, on a, a two week staycation and I say staycation because I don't think she's going to go anywhere so uh. it's not a vacation she's not come for two weeks and she's going to be going back again yeah she's yeah it's definitely a staycation she's come to stay is she a puppy then or is she no uh, no she's four years old four years old yeah okay. she's four years old so yes she's she's quite quite comical. Uh, oh, that's lovely. So, yeah, we've already got a little... Okay. The irony is, the dog that we had to say goodbye to is called Millie, and now we've got a Molly, which is just one... I know. ...one vowel different. Oh, so that <laughs> she... They knew her name and everything. No, no, oh. no, it's just the way that... It's just the way that it fell. No, as in, like, they called her Molly. The oh, rest yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. OK. She was with her previous owner for quite some time, so we, we've kept the name that she, yeah. she was given. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Because otherwise it might be a little bit confusing for her. So, did I leave the zip open in all my chatting not oh, sure i did sorry <laughs> i don't think <laughs> i did but it doesn't matter no that's all right i can get in there and i can oh, open that good. but we've got kind of like a turning now so i'm just hoping that i've done this the right way around what do you do christmas day do you have any traditions well usually everybody comes to me but i am having um a bit of a year off actually oh. this year because my son bless him he is um he's got his own place and he's got yeah. a big enough room now for us to go so oh. We, we were out one night, and I think he'd had a, a few to drink. He said, oh, do you want to come to us for Christmas? Which, we, obviously, straight away we said, yes, please. Yeah. But then I said, well, don't forget about your brother and your sister and your nan. And yeah. Auntie Christine often comes as well. So, <laughs> whereas he just thought there was just going to be a couple of us, it's actually turned out to be rather a few more. Ah, and is he doing the cooking? He is, yeah. Oh, I'm good. in charge of puddings and table decorations. Right. So I haven't got off completely free. Ah, uh, right, still nice. Like I don't mind that. Now there we go. See our little bag kind of coming to play into play. Mm -hmm. I could have added a little bit of wadding if I wanted to to give it a bit more body, but I wasn't too sure what sort of time we'd got with regards to putting this together. We've got ten so. minutes. Oh, have we really? Gosh, yeah. I've done that quicker than I thought I yeah. would. So there you go. So you can see there we've got um, our little bag kind of coming together like so. But there Cute. You go. You That's go. very nice. Look, I'm just I love using that strip. a tiny bit of that fabric from that set there, but so, and then obviously you just go back and you would stitch the inside of that and, and make sure that that's um, all all um, done. But you can see they've got that gorgeous uh, colour mm. on the back there as well. But uh, yeah, there you go. I love that co a contrasting strip across. That really works. But then you could take um, well, you could take a coloured button, couldn't you? Take inspiration from the pattern that you've got here and perhaps put coloured buttons across there. Or again, you could go yeah. in with more little pieces and add more there or add applique flowers around here. You could just go to town. Mm -hmm. But uh, there you go, just something quick and easy. Fabulous. Thank you, Hayley. No problem. No problem <coughs> at all. Uh, now, here's the pick and mix just to show you what you can get. We've already had sellouts, I'm afraid. The Oh, has it? The green and purple. Well, have we got actually anything to recap at the counter? Um, so the green one's gone. The which one? Which one is it? Oh, they don't, they don't show. The green and purple wave. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favourites. <coughs> Pink bloom. Where's that one? Pink bloom. There's too many. OK, and what was the, the gold one, did you say? Gold leaf has gone as well. Lovely. <laughs> do si do <laughs> <laughs> We were just having a little dance then. Who goes where? Yeah. <laughs> 
Anyway, Ooh. sorry, we digress. See, I didn't come down the counter with you. I felt I had a little bit of envy watching you go through oh, all yeah, these fabrics. Oh, yeah, come through. Yeah, come and have a stroke of these oh, fabrics. Oh, these are pretty. Right, so this one is limited stock. What are you going to do at 8 o'clock? I have no idea. But okay. well, let's not talk about that, Okay, Alice, fine. I'll go into a panic. <laughs> all right, all right. Can I just show you this? This is the yes, one please. that um, was using that gorgeous... Um, almost, it's almost like an oil-on-water design, that one, isn't it? I, I know agree. it's not glossy, but it's kind of that effect that you get. And there you go. You can see how I used a piece of that as an applique piece, just on a, a green panel so you don't use a lot there if you get mm -hmm. half a meter you can understand just how far oh, that's going to go absolutely yes so each one is half a meter this one you can only get in this set now because it's sold out individually but now this is your last chance to get it because this one is limited it's really good set that one because you've obviously got that one that i worked with but then the purple i love the way they've picked out the mm -hmm. purple from there and given you a couple of purples in there maybe something you're more comfortable with your polka dots because it's something that we won't be uh, unfamiliar with yeah I love this one here. Again, That's my favourite. Picking well, out, picking out the purples yeah. and the teals, which again you will find within that gorgeous leaf pattern there as well. Mm, I like it a lot. Nice. That, that that one and that one are my two favourites. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And they work well together. They do. Yeah. Really I mean, nice. they, they, they shouldn't because you've got kind of what rather a straight, almost check with that. But then you've got that kind of waviness there with that one as well. Yeah. And you can pick out certain areas. So if you are doing something like your English paper piecing, you could have that as Ooh, your centre yeah. of your hexagon, or it almost looks like a dragon's eye. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Oh, should we chuck it at Jack? Oh. Sold out. <laughs> There you well go. Done. Thank you. Um, I have to say thank you to everybody for joining us with this hour as well. And I'm just, I'm just so pleased that you're loving the fabrics just as much yeah. as I have been. Yeah, Good stuff. Gorgeous. Because we were saying as well, you could make something like your lovely well, shirt. Well, again, this was one of the <coughs> ideas for the, the 24 hours. This is one that I actually bought, but um, taking just little pieces of fabric, mm. those leftover pieces of fabric, just doing a plique with any of these would work, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, they're really cool. Or changing the collars or changing the cuffs oh, yeah. on a, a shirt. Absolutely. Oh, look at these, these Alex. Are nice. This is, feels like it's got a bit of a texture to it, this one. What do you think? Oh, yeah. It's is it me? Perhaps it's the way that it's printed. <coughs> um, yeah, I don't know the, the purple where the purple is. It feels as if it could be that the colour there's more intensity of colour there. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I like that. It looks like it's been brushed with a, a, a brush, doesn't it? Absolutely. That would be a fabulous one if you wanted to team it up with some chambray denim or something like that. Sh what chambray? It's denim? lighter weight denim, so it's like, it looks like your jeans, but yeah. it's, it's kind of like a shirt grade fabric. So oh, okay. It's a much lighter denim. Yeah, I learned so, that. Yeah, <laughs> Do excuse me. Um, the polka dot, not a problem at all. See, I love those two together. Again. They're so fun. Again, busy but good lovely. busy exactly yeah mm -hmm. there's kind of like a really exciting color together again that purple that is a nice one again that might be one that you want to be a bit more comfortable with again those mm -hmm. two together do work really they do. well and then wait for this one Boom. wow look at that that's cool see isn't that's it? one that i could do something like my shirt with Absolutely. because you've got the flowers there you could actually cut those out mm. applique them maybe come in with some of the greens from this one here and do some um, uh, leaves with that as well that's a really nice set like that lovely 20 percent of the stock has gone Another £20 saving, such good value, 24 95 333 Then we've got your pinks. Now I bought it with me, my little bag. I'm yeah. kind of pleased with this it's little It's lovely. Bag. You made whip that up really quick too. Um, but this, and that's what you can do. When mm. you're doing, making something out of fabulous fabrics, you don't need a complex design. No. The fabrics do it all for you. Absolutely. And that's why if you are a novice sewer, or maybe you want to do something that's quick, then mm -hmm. this is perfect set for you. And again, I love all these circles that are featuring here. They're fab, aren't they? And then you've got, this is almost like a shadow of that one. It is like a positive and negative yeah. like that, yeah. Really yeah. like that. Chrysanthemum, I think. Is that what it is? I, I couldn't think. It might think. be a chrysanthemum. <clears throat> I'm not very good with my flowers. I like them, but I don't know the names. Lovely. <laughs> I love this one. Yay. That's, that's a real fun fabric. It is, isn't it? Really nice. And then we've got our, would you say they're feathers? I would call them feathers. Some of them did remind me, kind of like, although it's not a peacock. Um, oh, they're, they're actually leaves. Have they called okay. them that? Ah. Oh. oh, right, that one sold out in the pick and mix. And then we've got our dinosaur fabric. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking pebbles. But pebbles. Yeah, it does look a bit like that dinosaur. I don't know why, I don't know why that came <laughs> to my head. It's that pink, isn't it? It's pink and the green, I think. Was yeah. It, was it pink and green? It was pink and green, yeah. wasn't it? And Andy's oh, met Barnaby. him. <laughs> was it purple? purple? Oh, it was purple. Oh. Oh, it's purple. Oh. Well, anyway. <laughs> Perhaps he was having an off day and he wasn't quite purple. He was more of a pink. <laughs> They're saying this is more like Mr. Blobby. <laughs> Do you remember him? I remember Mr. Blobby. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, right. Uh, well, Andy's met Mr. Blobby as well. Hilarious. <laughs> I bet they are all on the same night out, Do you think they? so? Could you imagine? <laughs> Our director, Andy. <laughs> Just popped out for a quick pipe, bumped into Mr. Blobby and Barney. 
That's so funny. Regular Saturday mm. night for our Andy. Uh, oh, right. Andy says he used to work in kids TV. That will yeah. explain it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I still think it was a night out. Right. Um, this is likely to be the next sellout because we are two thirds of the stock gone. It's twenty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. Three two four eight seven zero. Nice. Like then or green fusion. Now, Lovely. This is the one that when we were doing the log cabin with the one day special that we shan't yep. talk about, that is the centerpiece. That's the square that we used in the middle of it. But again, the colours that you've got going across here. Do love that gorgeous check. These are all cave facet again. So you will see these all appearing within his books, mm. within his designs. And again, just beautiful fabric. And that one again there with that bold mm. flower. Is Absolutely stunning, gorgeous, yep. beautiful. Uh, Twenty percent of the stock has gone. Twenty four ninety five, twenty pounds off. Six zero seven three one one. We've got one more for you to take a look at. So if bright isn't your thing, mm -hmm. then this one is slightly more muted. It is. It's also a nice <coughs> one to actually get alongside of some of the others. So, for instance, if I can bring in the first yeah, one that we had it. that was left, I'm just going to drape this across. The yep. reason being is, yes, we are calling it muted, but muted, um, <coughs> not one to shy away from colour, but also perhaps to use it as that spacer Good, I mean that yeah. purple there that is exactly the same that you've got there but you could incorporate those alongside some of those brighter tones so yeah nice bundle to mm. go for and yeah it perhaps if you are a little bit nervous of color yeah nice one to go for good stuff again that is 24 95 20 pounds off two seven four five eight eight quick look at the book so this nice. is your K facets bold blooms this is it and this is where you can see I mean I, I don't know how many books Kafe has written, but he has written loads of them, and his inspiration <coughs> is phenomenal. Um, he's regularly he at um, oh, yeah, there you go. You can see that gorgeous bright shirt that he's got there. Yeah. Introduction there to to Kafe, so you'll learn a little bit about him there and how he kind of uh, got introduced to colour and where his inspirations have come from. Mm. But he's just brilliant. I mean, he's a crafter himself. Oh, as yeah, you can, can see, see there. Mm. I mean, look at that embroidery. No. Knows what he's doing. Yeah. Um, but there's loads within these books that you'll learn inspiration from. Mm, look at these. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah. Oh, look at these with all these gorgeous flowers. So, yeah, lovely book to, to sit. This is one of those coffee table books, it isn't is. it? You yeah. can just sit up with a, sit with a nice mug of coffee. Projects in here as well. So, of course, one of Cove's um, loves is his needle point. So, there you go. You've got a design mm. there that you can actually mm. stitch at. And again, just a beautiful coat. Just a beautiful book to look at. Um, quickly, then, I'll give you the details for this. 19.99 and it's 107.609. Don't have a lot of time to flick through this one, but. Might as well just just bring okay. the details for well, you. Well, it's called Spectacular Quilt, and you only have to be using a little bit of case fabric to get a Spectacular Quilt. And in here, you've got 23 fabulous mm. quilt designs. You can see a few of them on the cover yeah. there. So you don't have to worry whether you're going for your traditional <coughs> style, whether you're just going for your diagonal, and um, not your diagonals, not your diamonds or your triangles and putting those mm. together. You're going to get some wonderful results. Lovely stuff. Thank you, Hayley. No problem. Oh, bless you. Well, I hope well, it's all fine in eight o'clock. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. You go one or two ways. Okay. <laughs>